Today's project is a mid-century Drexel dining table. It's from their projection collection and was made in 1960 according to a stamp on the bottom. And I really like Drexel pieces. At least the ones I've worked on, they've always been very high quality, very well made, and this one looks like it's no exception. Looks very well constructed and it's stylish. I especially like the legs. And I also got the leaf with it, which was a nice bonus. Usually you don't get those with the table. So I'm looking forward to working on this. I'm going to remove the finish on the legs and apron with a chemical stripper. I don't want to use the scraper. Sometimes it can be kind of hard to scrape on rounded parts like this and in corners like that. Also, underneath this finish, this wood is very light color. You can see here where there's no finish applied. It's almost white. And when I refinish it, I want it to be closer to this brownish color. This finish is probably a colored lacquer that they sprayed on at the factory to get it from this to this color. But then under the finish, there may be a very thin layer of wood on the surface that has darkened a bit over time. So I don't want to remove any of that color either. And if I use the scraper, I might end up removing a tiny bit of the wood, which may break through that color that is on the surface and I don't want to do that because that just makes more work for me than I have to go from an even lighter color to this dark color. So I just want to retain as much color that's in the wood as possible. Uh, and sanding would do the same thing. If I tried to sand this off, then you'd break through the color on the surface of the wood. So stripper seems like a better option here. The edges of the tabletop, it looks like they painted it. And that would be to hide the end grain of the wood that's behind or underneath the veneer on the top and bottom. So I'm gonna remove that too. And then uh, I'll probably have to, I don't know, maybe stain it really dark or maybe use paint again, I'm not sure yet. I got most of it off. Uh, this is end grain though, so it really probably soaked in there pretty well. And it's gonna be tough to get out completely, but maybe I don't need to get it out completely since I'm just gonna be covering the end grain again anyway. Not sure, maybe I'll do some sanding later to get the rest out. The stripper's working really well so far, so I decided to use it on the top as well, instead of scraping. Okay, I've got all of the finish stripped off. The legs look great. I didn't have to do any sanding on these, although I may later on if I decide to stain them because they might actually be too smooth for stain. The stain would just uh, kind of slide right off, although that may be good if I'm just looking to stain them a little bit, but we'll see. 
Um, the top also came out pretty good. Um, this is one half here. This half has a little bit of an issue. You can see here where it's lighter and over here there's a light spot. There's also some smaller light spots along the edge. I think these spots along the edge are lighter just because that's where the finish was missing for years. But these larger spots here, I think I did that when I was stripping it. I got a little impatient and I was originally using fine steel wool to remove the finish and I switched to a coarser steel wool. And I think what happened is just from my scrubbing with the coarse steel wool, I went through that little bit of color, that really thin layer of color that was on top of the wood, just in this spot and this spot. And this is what I was referring to earlier when I was talking about using stripper on the legs rather than scraping them because I didn't want to go through that thin layer of color that was on the surface of the wood. I didn't have this problem on the leaf because I, I slowed down and just let the stripper sit on there for a long time until it started lifting the finish and I didn't have to scrub it at all. So by then I had learned my lesson, but I've got this little bit of a light spot. Although if you wet it down, it's not as drastic looking. So it's not a disaster by any means. I'm just gonna have to probably sand the surface to even it out and just remove this little bit of color over the whole thing. And I was gonna sand it anyway because I'm most likely gonna be staining this and Again, right now it's too smooth for stain, kind of like on the legs. The surface is almost burnished from the steel wool. I just sanded this top with 120 grit sandpaper. And before I sand anymore, there's a little dent here that I want to try to steam out. Some water. Getting there. It feels pretty good. Yeah, that worked pretty well. Came up almost all the way. Now I'm going to sand the whole thing with 180. When I first started working on this table, it looked like the leaf was the same color as everything else. But once I removed the finish, it was apparent that it is actually a bit darker. Not by too much, but it is darker, which is pretty typical. So I think I'm just going to try and control it with the stain and just use a little bit more stain on these pieces and a little less on the leaf and hopefully that'll bring them pretty close and actually they're already pretty close Let's see if I can get them closer before I apply the stain I am first going to wet down the wood with some mineral spirits which will reduce the amount of stain that the wood will absorb because I don't want it to get really dark and I just don't really need a lot of stain just want a little bit and then I'll apply the stain, which is a gel stain, and the color is prairie wheat. And I'll do the same thing on the leaf with the mineral spirits first and then the gel stain. Well, this isn't a very accurate representation because as the mineral spirits is drying on this, it's getting lighter. Now I'm not really sure if this is actually too dark or if when this dries it's going to be lighter. But I think I'm going to just take a paper towel with some mineral spirits and just remove some more of the stain. And I can always make it darker later on if I need to, but I probably won't need to.
I let the stain dry and then I sprayed a couple of coats of clear shellac on these just to see how the color looked. And the leaf is a bit darker than everything else. So it's not terrible, but I think I want to try to lighten it a bit instead of darkening the other pieces because they look really good. So I think I'm gonna remove the shellac that I just put on here with some alcohol and then gently remove whatever little bit of stain is on here and then uh, use a two-part bleach to try to lighten it. I got the shellac and the stain off and now it's time for the bleach. This first part of the two parts is I think lye and it actually darkens the wood uh, and it's not until you put the second part on that it lightens. I actually like the uh, look that the lye gives the wood but I'm going for a lighter look for this one, not darker. Maybe I should have just applied lye to the whole piece. Looks like some really nice walnut now, or even rosewood. Okay, time for part two. While the bleach dries on the leaf, I put on the legs to see how the legs and the apron look uh, in terms of color compared to the top. And I think they may actually be just fine the way they are without any stain or anything. Um, they are on the light side, but so is the top. So I think I'm just gonna leave them as is and put clear coat over it. And hopefully that'll be good. Of course, the whole table is going to be lighter than it originally was from the factory, but I'm okay with that. Um, to get it as dark as it was before, I'd probably need to use toner lacquer and stuff like that, and I just don't want to do that. I'm not set up for it, and I don't really care for the look of it usually. I'll use it occasionally if I need to, but I think in this case, I like the table as it is. Okay, so it looks like the bleach is all dry, and then it says to sand off the residue. So I'm gonna do that now. Well, it looks good. Um, not sure how much lighter it is, but it's not darker. I'll have to hold it next to the table and see how it looks. Well, in my excitement to rush over here and see how the color looked, I managed to drop this leaf on the corner here. So the corner is kind of bashed in a little bit. So I'm gonna see if I can steam that out. Um, but the good news is the color does seem to be lighter now. I think just a little bit of stain on there will help it even more. So now I gotta work on this. Well, that worked pretty well. It lifted it a bit, but it's not perfect. It's still pushed in just a little bit at the corner here. I think I'll try and just put some epoxy putty on here and rebuild that. It's not gonna take a lot. It only needs a very little bit, but might as well. And this is obviously more than I'll actually need, but I'll take most of it off. I really only need it right up here at the very corner. I think I should probably leave it there until it gets a little harder. I let this dry overnight and I removed a lot of the excess putty. Now I just have a little bit to smooth out here. Whew. 
So in the end, that's really all the filler I needed. It's just a little bit, and I'll just color that probably with some stain. Now I can apply stain to the leaf again, and I'll just do it the same way I did it the first time. So mineral spirits, and this de definitely looks lighter than it did before. And then the stain. Wipe it off. Yeah, I think uh, maybe I had too much mineral spirits on there. Apply it again. I'll leave it there. I've got a base coat of shellac on everything now, and I want to do a few touch-ups. There's a little flaw in the veneer here. This was underneath the original finish, so this probably happened at the factory. There's a little piece that looks like it was pulled out and then glued back in, or maybe this is just a patch. And then there's some filler here. There is a gap here that could be filled, and I could put a little filler down here too. To do this I'm going to use a uh, hard fill stick. Just melt it in there. Remove the excess. It's a little bit light so I'm going to mix in a darker color and keep in mind this isn't the angle that people are actually going to be viewing this from. It will be um, right side up and th this area will be kind of kind of dark, be shaded a bit by the overhang on the table. I think that'll do. And now I can finish it up with a clear lacquer top coat. And here it is, all finished. Thanks for watching.